Hey, all right, everybody, how is it going? Now, I got a few articles by you, and they're all about the demise of hydrogen. Now, I think for Toyota, I think the game's up. The gig is up. It's all over, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Now, some people might still disagree. Some people might still disagree because in the sort of transition towards electric cars, there was always them people shouting that hydrogen is the future. Never mind these battery electric cars, hydrogen's the future. You know what I mean? They've always been there and now they're sort of, it's less of them, there's still a few left, but they're asked, you know, there's a lot less than what it used to be. Because I think some of them even know the game is over. Um, now, what am I blabbing all about? <laughs> well, first of all, this first story by us said 120 scientists write an open letter to remove Toyota hydrogen car from the Paris Olympics. Okay, now they were talking about the uh, Toyota Mirai, and it's been all sorts of problems with that. Now let's let's go back to the let's call them. Uh, I can't call them anti EV people because. Uh, when they talked about hydrogen cars, they were basically an electric car. Maybe they didn't think it is because they thought they were filling up with a nozzle and some sort of fuel. They thought, that's not an electric car. It's filling up the same way we do now. People like to stick to the same sort of things they used to do. So that's why they thought it was a good idea. Um, but basically, it was an electric car. So even though they were anti-EV, they weren't really anti-EV, if you know what I mean. Um, but obviously hydrogen cars, hydrogen fuel cells are way more complex and there's also now the new fight is hydrogen combustion, which is a load of old ghoulies. <laughs> because hydrogen combustion is even worse than hydrogen fuel cell. It's worse. It's less efficient. It's, it's just, it's just, it's just stupid. Anyway, so a group of engineers, scientists and academics recently wrote an open letter calling for the organizers of the Paris Olympics to choose a different official vehicle than the Toyota Mirai hydrogen car. Um, because it's, the letter says the H2 powered vehicle undermines the game's green strategy. OK, uh, I pointed out that while hydrogen, hydrogen cars are indeed zero emission vehicles and they don't emit any CO2 from the tailpipes um, uh, as a result of operation, that's not the only potential source of greenhouse gas. The issue is that an estimated 96% of H2 produced in the world continue to be made using processes powered by fossil fuels. So you can see why the fossil fuel companies trying to get behind hydrogen cars, especially hydrogen combustion cars. Because they're not as efficient. They'll sell you more hydrogen. <laughs> right, so that was that story there. Now, it's always been dogged by problems, hydrogen fuel cell cars. Now, another thing that uh, people who said electric cars know the future, hydrogen is the future, Hydrogen cars have been out for blinking ages. But all these people who said hydrogen was the, was the future never bought a hydrogen car, did they? You didn't buy one, did you? Even though you said it was the future, you never bought one. <laughs> right, so what was the next story, which was the demise of hydrogen? Um, here we go, by here. Uh, Toyota, again. Now, you've got to remember that Toyota have lobbied in certain countries and put out misleading uh, adverts about hydrogen fuel cells and their self-charging hybrids. So they've been one of the worst car companies, one of the worst for being against electric cars. And they've tried to go doggedly down to this sort of hydrogen fuel cell thing. Now they might be trying to switch to hydrogen combustion, which it's a load of ghoulies. It is a load of ghoulies. Anybody who's, who thinks it's a good idea, stop it. Stop it. Right, so Toyota is being sued over lack of hydrogen availability for the fuel cell cars in California because we know that one of the companies, was it Shell? I think it was Shell. 
they, they said, we're not going to run these uh, hydrogen hydrogen uh, pump stations anymore. It's yeah. just too it's too expensive. I don't know why they did it. Um, but uh, it says Toyota's facing a class action lawsuit filed this week in California over the availability of hydrogen for its fuel cell electric vehicles, the Mirai. Again, so is when is the penny going to drop for, uh, for Toyota? When are they going to go, uh, all right then, it don't make sense. Because I watched uh, Engineering Explained, I, I've been through this before many a time, but this is, I think this is the final nail in the coffin. Um, I've been through this before. The, the guy on engineering explained, far cleverer than me on engineering, um, he explained why hydrogen combustion is idiotic. And he was explaining uh, that there was prototypes. You wouldn't be able to go that far. You'd have to fill the whole car up, even inside the, inside the car and outside the car, with hydrogen tanks just to get a decent you know distance um so it's just it's stupid it's stupid and the last story here which is hydrogen again and if you're the kind of person who does like hydrogen just get rid of the the nonsense that all comes up on the screen when you try to look at something if you are one of them people who is still uh you know raving on about hydrogen and you want to have a rant in the comment section try try and if you're gonna have a rant about it try and you know sway me <laughs> tell me your you know your ideas and thoughts what you think is a good idea um now this article says despite high hopes it's time people acknowledge that hydrogen is a dead end and there's a picture here with a shell hydrogen on a car, and it says extinct. <laughs> it said hydrogen has been considered for use an environmentally friendly replacement for fossil fuels. Despite billions, billions poured into research and vehicle development, the hydrogen as a fuel project is barely alive. It's, it's even worse. It's worse now than when they started. So hydrogen now is worse than when they started and you got even less hydrogen fueling stations than you did last year or the year before it's just bonkers it's ridiculous so all these people who say hydrogen was the future or is the future why didn't you buy a hydrogen fuel cell car tell me why you probably say it's too expensive or you couldn't <laughs> you couldn't fuel up anyway um so uh, and it says, it goes on by here to say, from wheel to well, an EV's efficiency can be as high as 90%. By contrast, ICE vehicles are barely reach 15%. Uh, this is wheel to well. Uh, this means that 85% of the energy used to extract and process the fuel is wasted before even reaching the car's wheels. Uh, hydrogen stands in between the two, depending on how it's used. Fuel cell vehicles have a higher, higher efficiency of up to 35% with the energy. Um, but hydrogen combustion is, well, I think it's pants, isn't it? It's going to be much lower, isn't it? It's going to be much lower. It's going to be a load of gold goalies. Anyway, so what's the gist of this story? If you're still raving on about hydrogen's the future, then you're just wasting your time. Find a different hobby. <laughs> what do you think about hydrogen? Do you think hydrogen can make a comeback? Do you think that the... The, um, the oil companies and all, all the ones who make this dirty hydrogen can pour enough money in to make it have a comeback. I don't think so. I think it's a dead end. I think it really is a dead end. And I wouldn't want to buy. Why would I want to buy a hydrogen car? I wouldn't want to buy one. Why would you want to buy something that's more complex than a petrol car? It's more complex than a petrol car. It's just stupid. Anyway, if you don't think it's stupid, put in the comment section. If you do think it's stupid, put in the comment section. If you don't like me, put in the comment section. <laughs> anyway, if you did like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ahoy.